They keep finding new and interesting things to do with that old Kmart, don't they? All right, curve and context. This is all connected, folks, as we think about back to school and we, we think about all the testing that's been going on. So let's talk about Florida wide. In total, 24,000 cases, or I should say first coast, and 205 deaths. That means 1,000 new cases, six deaths just in the last day. All right, putting that in perspective, when we entered phase two a month ago, we were averaging around 40 new cases per day, but that moving average is now at 900. Now, granted, three to four times more testing is being done today, plus federal surge testing going to be put in place. Their goal is to get 5,000 people tested per day, so that's going to impact things. Let's look specifically now at Duval County. That's where more than half of our local cases are. In total, more than 14,000 people have tested positive in Duval. In the week of beginning of June, that phase two week, fewer than 3% of people were actually testing positive. Now the average is around 20% of tests coming back positive, one in five. Let's go county by county. Aside from Duval, St. John's still has the most cases, 2,000 people who have tested positive there, followed by Clay with 1,600. Putnam County has 855 total cases. In southeast Georgia, as we zoom around, let's go to Glenn County. Glenn County with the most cases, 1,600 people have tested positive. Ware County has 734 people who have tested positive. Keitha.